the kingdom of Christ revealed. Brothers and sisters, this is one of the most boldest proclama proclamations, declarations that I have ever made, but I can assure you that it will, these things do fulfill um, and, and live up to um, the title of this video. And um, before I get into the video, the, the content of the video, you guys, I want to uh, let people know, um, if you don't know Sister Lena, um, I'm going to leave a link in the description, you guys, of Sister Lena's cha uh, channel or Sister Lena's video that she just did about the Sabbath. I want to encourage you guys to um, go ahead and check it out and listen to it, subscribe to her channel. And um, me and Sister Lena and other brothers and sisters are going to be doing some other lives coming up real soon. So um, I just want to um, let you guys know um, and, and to go subscribe to her, dear beautiful sister. And um, so you guys, this, I have really been <clears throat> seeking the Lord and praying. Um, anybody who knows me knows that I, I spend a lot of time in prayer and I hope and pray that everybody is too. It's, um, it's a, a, a real desire that is in my heart. Um, I love spending time with the Lord and experiencing his presence. And um, I encourage everybody to do that because what it does, uh, uh, first of all, we should want to do that, but it also, the more that you do that, it actually grows you in the spirit and it transforms your heart. It, it brings you into a deeper conversion of Christ each and every time you do that. Um, but I've been asking and seeking the Lord and asking him the mightiest ways, the deepest. I've been praying and asking him to reveal to me his heart and to show me the mightiest ways how to serve him, how to praise him, how to experience him. And you guys, um, I want to share this with you is that there is a lot of people, you know, um, you know, when, when we pray and we're seeking the Lord, you know, we, we come before him and we ask him all of these things. We pour out our heart unto him. And um, you guys, in no way am I saying that um, that is not what the Lord wants us to do. But just hear me out in this, you guys. Um, so the Lord knows everything he is the Alpha and the Omega. He is the beginning and the end. He declared the end from the beginning, yet he always was and he always will be. He is the ones, he is the one who tells the, the ocean waters to stop. He is the one who tells the seas to be calm. He is the one who spoke the world into existence. He is the one that fathoms the great depths and sits enthroned on the cherubs while they say unceasingly to him, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty who was and is and is to come. He is the Lord and Lord of King of Kings. And brothers and sisters, when you behold him, you will see what truth and love, where truth and love came from. Every eye will see him and every knee will bow. He is our majesty. And he made a way for us to, um, to have access to him, to enter into his presence, to bask in, in, bask in his glory, in his presence. And you guys, it is the most wonderful thing if people understood what is the gift and, and what they have access to at this moment of time, everybody would be seeking it. If they would experience, if they experience the glory and the presence of God and he gave us a way to, to be able to experience this, you guys, and it is by the body and blood, the sacrifice, the Passover lamb, the blameless, spotless, blemishless lamb who was slain, who defeated the powers of sin and death and paid a ransom for our sins. 
and he knows everything that we're going to ask. He knows everything that we're going to need. He knows everything before we ask it, before we say it. He already knows what we're going to say. When you step on a patch of grass, he knows every blade of grass that you will step on and at what angle you will depress it at. So knowing all of these things, when you believe and know that these are all this, all these things that I just said are true, then when we come before him and we seek him and we're praying to him, does he not know already what we want? And with what I'm about to say, you guys, I am not discouraging verbal prayer or anything like that. I'm just sharing with you the kingdom of Christ. I am sharing with you thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. I'm sharing with these things with the whole world, who, whomever the Lord leads to this channel. And these things are true. And you guys, I will tell you that when I've been praying as the Lord, as the spirit has been leading me and guiding me, I've been spending time in seeking the presence of the Lord. And I put myself, I close my eyes and I put myself at the foot of the cross of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, as he was, as he was being crucified for our sins. And I put myself there. And I just say, oh, Lord, thank you, Lord. Oh, blessing and pray. And I, and I just with my whole heart, not just with my words, you guys, but with my heart, with my mind, with every cell of my being, I praise and adore and thank and bless the power, the almighty power of that sacrifice. And then I put myself into the presence of our Lord at the throne in heaven. And I come before him in my mind and in my heart by the merits and the access that in, in the access that I have to that throne by the sacrifice that our Lord made for us on Calvary. And I go before him and I close my eyes. And with every cell of my being, with my whole heart, with my mind, with my soul, with my spirit, with my words, I praise and bless and thank him. And I just spend time, you guys. I spend time in putting myself there and adoring, adoring and praising and blessing the Lord Jesus Christ and the sacrifice that he made for us. And I spend time at the throne just putting myself there and and by the merits of the sacrifice of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And I spend time just adoring and praising and blessing and exalting and glorifying the Lord God Almighty who sits on the throne. And you guys, we, um, we all have this access to him. And it is by the body and blood, the sacrifice of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, that purges our mind and cleanses us, you guys. This, this sacrifice, what this, his body and his blood, which is manifested through communion, has purged our minds and our hearts. It's cleansed our conscience from, from dead works in that our hearts would be transformed where this love in this adoration flows from us. So it all goes back to the, the sacrifice of Calvary, you guys. It all goes back to the body and blood of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. His, the body and blood of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, has transformed my heart and purged my mind from dead works. And what I do, you guys, is I go before, I put myself out Calvary, I put myself at the throne of the Lord, and I sit there and I adore the Lord 
for and it just this adoration just flows from my heart you guys and it all goes back to the sacrifice of calvary you guys that where that transformation how that transformation took place was by the body and blood of our lord and savior jesus christ so i just want to share this with you and i want to encourage you guys to spend time adoring the lord and in 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 spending time in his presence in praising him and blessing him and thanking him and see this is seeking first the kingdom of god you guys and he will add everything unto you heart all those things that you desire all those things that you pray for all those things that you are asking for he will add them unto you and in no way you guys am i saying should you not verbally pray and pour out your heart unto the lord i am just revealing to you what the lord revealed to me in a deeper way adoration of our lord and savior jesus christ what he did for us on calvary who he is in the heavens is the deepest form of praise and worship and prayer where you hand your mind and your heart and your whole body over to the lord into adoring him and praising him and you guys i promise you you will experience the lord in his presence in his spirit in the deepest way this is brothers and sisters this is how we manifest the kingdom of christ on earth remember brothers and sisters the kingdom of christ doesn't come by observation there's people that are that are waiting for just the kingdom of the new jerusalem to come out from heaven no you guys the kingdom of christ is inside of you and when you grow in these things what what i'm what i'm um telling you my experience when we grow in these things as sons and daughters of god and we manifest these things and we share these things with others and we do these things with other brothers and sisters it manifests the kingdom of christ on earth it changes the very fabric all the layer of deception all the haze of witchcraft all the evil spirits and evil powers that are in the earth literally little tiny ions and molecules and atoms that are in the air that are in the matter that the kingdom of 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 darkness has corrupted we destroy those things and manifest the kingdom of christ by experiencing and by doing these things that's why prayer is so important you guys prayer is so important and i'm not saying that you shouldn't not pray pour out your heart to the lord and pray verbally and pray for the things that are in your heart but what i'm sharing with you you guys and 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 sharing with the world is how to do how to experience the lord in the deepest way how to experience the glory and power in the presence of the lord as they do in heaven on earth and this is how we do it you guys with a transformed heart that has been purged and cleansed from dead works a heart that has been transformed blood that has been transfused that the blood transfusion that the children of god have have received by the sacrifice of calvary by the body and blood of our lord and savior jesus christ that has come in the form of the communion the passover lamb because he said it says he took bread and said and blessed it and said this is my body and he took the cup and he gave thanks unto it and remember in first timothy it says when you give thanks unto the food it changes it you bless the food he gave thanks to it thank you lord for your blood that you shed for us on calvary and then he said he took the cup which was wine and then gave thanks for it and then he said this is my blood the blood of the new covenant brothers and sisters what i'm sharing with you right now is the new covenant what i'm sharing with you is the kingdom of christ revealed and i pray and i hope that all you guys um pray about this and if this resonates with you seek the lord seek the presence of Lo of the lord god almighty in adoration of what our lord and savior jesus christ did for us on calvary and putting yourself at the throne of the lord
knowing that you have access, you are worthy to be there and you can spend time there in here on earth. You can spend time there by the merits and the power of the body and blood of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It all goes back to the sacrifice of Calvary, you guys. It all goes back to the body and blood of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. All glory be to the Lamb of God forever and ever. Amen and hallelujah. I love you guys.